Okay, so for the next card, we're kind of working in this light blue palette here. Again, with this cute little bear. It's so much fun. I just love this. I love that little bear and his little face. Oh, so fun. And this ribbon really matches perfectly with this. Okay, so this is piece of paper here is four inches by 12 inches, okay? And I scored it at three inches and three and a half inches on that side. So then as we fold it, there's a little bit of an overlap, okay? So I cut out this um, really fun br uh, lily, or brown, oh my gosh, this, uh, the birch tree paper. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to have, um, this is going to be layering on the left and on the right here, you have the other one. Okay. So your birch trees on the left and birch trees on the right, right? So we're going to go ahead and we're going to just have to tape, paste those together. I'm going to use my double sided tape here. There's going to be about an eight, oh, a 16th of an inch border on all four sides. Oh, whoops. 16th to an eighth. And then same with the other one. <clears throat> okay. Now, if you wanted to get out any colored pencils or watercolors and color your berry, you can certainly do that. I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm going to leave them just as is. I might look back in. I haven't decided. Then maybe at the very end, maybe I will. Okay. So now, the little narrow one, we're going to glue on the narrow piece here, the three inch side. I'm going to go ahead and just adhere that in place. So again, there's about a sixteenth of an inch border. So the top one has an eighth of an inch border. The light blue is just bare and flipping it over. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing here. You want to make sure that your birch trees are facing, the branches are facing up. It's something to perch on it, kind of an idea. Okay, so now with the bear. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take our scissors and we're going to cut this in half. Okay, now we're going to take this. And if you want to take a paper cutter and cut these straight, you're welcome to do that. But we're literally just going to cut these into little strips like so. Okay, and now we're just going to cut those. Oh, I want those to be somewhat straight. And those we're going to lay on here. So I'm just going to kind of just cut these out basically is what I'm doing here. Just have a very happy day. So cute. Okay, so that's what we're going to do there. A little scratch over here. Okay, so now we have our brown ribbon. So what we're going to do is actually we're going to put a little bit of double-sided tape, not very much, just a tiny little bit, just right on the back side of that ribbon there. That's just enough to hold it in place back here. I'm going to find the middle of that ribbon. I'm going to go ahead and just stick it down. Okay. Now, as we wrap that around to the front, I'm going to tie my ribbon. So remember, we have the narrow side on the right and the um, thicker side on the left. So now we're going to tie our bow, and the bow is going to land right here on the left. I'm going to go ahead and tie that. Oh, I got way too much ribbon, but that's okay. At least you know we'll have lots. Got lots to work with there. Okay. <clears throat> All right. And now we're going to go ahead and trim that there and there. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to fussy cut this little bear. Do do do. The bear times. I guess if I was going to add in any watercolor or any markers at all, I might be like his little nose. I want to be like his underside of his little feet or like his underside of his little arm, like where the shadows might be. That might be a good place to put a little bit of ink. And again, I might still do that. Okay, 
we'll see how it comes together at the end. And I am cutting around the line there so that we can see the outline of the bear completely. So lay it down. Whoops, oh, I tried to. Ooh. Did not do a very good job around the ears. It was my intention though that you could still see the line. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. All right, so then, oh my gosh, look at that cute little bear. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead, and I'm actually gonna go ahead and put him right there. I guess I could have him kind of down a little bit further. That actually probably makes a little bit more sense there, huh? Maybe more like he's sitting on the ground. Yeah, that does make a lot more sense for a bear. I'm gonna go ahead and stick him down here at the bottom. I'm gonna overlap his head just a tiny little bit on that, on that ribbon, just a little bit. Okay, and then we have the, the very happy day. So I'm going to go ahead and just untie that. And at this point, I'm actually going to need to put ribbon across that completely. Or not ribbon, I'm going to put glue on the double sided tape on that completely. Whoops. So I don't need to put nearly that much on there. So all I need is just a tiny little bit <clears throat> right here, and just a small little section. So my double sided tape is just right here only. Let's put a little bit more right here. Okay, so now that will stay in place. Ideally, I wanted a bear to hold the little ribbon in place, but it might not quite happen. I'm actually going to use a little bit more double sided tape to hold. Oops. So now there's some double sided tape right here. Now, when we tie the bow, it goes right here on the left, that left panel. So when we open this up, this is where we're going to put our sentiment. Have a very happy day. Yes, so cute. Or you can put it right here in the middle. I think this is where you want to write your nice message to someone. Oh, the double sided tape. This is ridiculous. So I'll just get out my glue. Oftentimes we'll use double sided tape for this, especially with a tape gun like this, so that that way I can adjust it if needed. And like, oh, I can pull that up really fast and then adjust. Or I can roll off any excess double sided tape that might be in my way. All right. And there we have it. Cute little card. Oh, I think you guys can guess me. I'm gonna do a little bit of watercolor. Not very much, but I am gonna add just a touch of color onto him. I'm using a water brush here that already has color in, already has water in it, so the brush is already wet and ready to go. And the ink that I use to stamp this little bear is a waterproof ink, so the lines are not gonna move here. And since I am going to color it, I'm probably going to color the whole thing here. I probably should have watercolored it before I glued it on, but we're just going to be very, very clean here. Just a little bit of a darker brown to add to the different little pockets there. There we go. Okay. And there we have it. Oh my goodness, so cute. Have a very happy day with that little guy. Isn't that sweet? And now on the inside, the outside here, we can just go ahead and close that up. Tie a little bow. And there we have our cute, sweet little bear card. Oh my gosh, these bear cards are really cute, you guys. This new Lawn bear stamp is so adorable. Actually, they have a couple bear stamps this time. This one was released, and they're both very, very cute. Okay, oh, I gotta adjust this ribbon, this is driving me crazy. So I'm gonna re tie that. I just want the ribbon to sit nicely. Oh, 
Oh, come on. Well, I'm going to have to say that's probably good enough for now. Even though it's not perfect. All right, you guys, and there we have our bear cards. I still just love this one so much, even though it was really simple. It was so, so cute. All right, you guys, there's the craft kit for today. Hope you had fun. See you later.